Hi, this is Alex Granados, reporter for Education NC, and I'm coming to you live from the North Carolina General Assembly. As you can see, I'm dressed a little casually today. That's because it is Memorial Day weekend, and I am actually off. Me and my wife were taking an urban hike with our dog through downtown Raleigh, but I've decided to stop in and give you a recap of what's happened this week. The big news is that yesterday portions of the House budget came out in various committees throughout the day. I was in the Education Committee where we saw many of their proposals, though notably there was no uh, budget item on teacher pay. Uh, that will be released next week. Uh, but we did hear a lot, uh, including expansions to the Opportunity Scholarship uh, Program, uh, increases in textbook funding, um, money for an advanced teacher role pilot, uh, changes to the school performance grades. Uh, they're currently made up of a score that is calculated based on 80% academic achievement and 20% academic growth. Uh, under the change in the provision, there will now be two grades, one for academic achievement and one for academic growth. And uh, it also puts the 15-point grading scale into the law permanently. Eventually, it was meant to go to a 10-point scale, but if this were to go through, that would no longer happen. Notably, there is no funding for enhancement teachers in what was presented yesterday. As you may remember, uh, enhancement teachers are paid for by uh, flexibility that the school districts currently have um, in the funding allotment, but that flexibility is going to go away when class size restrictions go into full effect in 2018-19. Many people have been vying for dedicated funding for those enhancement teachers, but like I said, it was not in the budget. Uh, both the Senate and the House appear to be waiting to find out more about what the need in the state is for enhancement teachers before uh, dedicating funding to that topic. Um, in the budget debate yesterday, Democrats were very upset in the Education Committee and at large um, about the way the House budget process was going. Uh, for instance, the education budget was pre presented in committee yesterday. The Democrats had very little time to come up with amendments, and then it was voted on by the end of the day. Uh, but Representative Craig Horn, who chairs the education committee, said they're going to have plenty of time next week to offer amendments in debate. Uh, it will go to the full House Appropriations Committee next week, as well as to the full House floor, and it is anticipated that there will be a final vote by the end of the week. Um, if you want to see a full rundown of um, some of the things that were in the education budget, as well as links to what was presented yesterday in the House Committee, you can go to ednc.org. Uh, I also tweeted extensively about it yesterday, so you can uh, go to my Twitter uh, account. My, my username is at agranadoster, and I hope everybody has a nice Memorial Day weekend. Thank you.